All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again. So Kamala Harris' campaign is already a fraud, and then she didn't show up to the Al Smith dinner where Donald Trump was cracking jokes on her and all the Democrats, and he did a very good job, and then Kamala Harris sends in this cringe video. It's like, what is this? This woman... Like, just listen to this. You already losing bad in the polls, and then you don't show up to the dinner, to the Ask Smith dinner, you don't come? Because why she didn't come? This woman and her campaign is a complete fraud. And a lot of people have been saying, hey, this probably just won Donald Trump the election. This woman didn't show up. She don't care. She's still anteing up the rhetoric against Donald Trump. She can't even tell anybody where her policies is. Instead, she will rather just tell lie after lie after lie on Donald Trump. That's what her entire campaign is doing right now. Let's just keep lying on Donald Trump. Let's keep talking about J6. Let's just keep talking about all of this. But nobody is falling for that crap. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, check this out. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into it. But she, hey, she done messed up bad now. So let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Okay, so I guess the trend continues. I mean, I think this is what it's going to be like pretty much till election day. Donald Trump is simply soaking up all the oxygen in the room. Yep. Now, I know the Kamala campaign continues in their pathetic attempt to paint Donald Trump as old, tired, and clear cognitive decline. They're trying to give him the Joe Biden treatment, that except gonna it's not going to work because it's nope. totally unmerited, but they're certainly trying. Kamala HQ posted this, you good at real Donald Trump? An exhausted Trump says no to another interview. Oh, he's too tired. He can't get the job done. That's the narrative they're trying to set. But literally, simultaneously as they're saying this, Donald Trump is bouncing around, executing big time, I mean performing, during one yep. of the most intense, rigorous campaign schedules I think I've ever seen. I mean, it could not be further from reality. Donald Trump does the Al Smith dinner, then shows up at a Brooklyn barbershop, or actually I think he might have showed up at the barbershop before the Al Smith dinner, but anyways, two events, then he goes on Fox and Friends, then he does an interview with Tyrus at Fox. Yep. You know, again, Donald Trump's doing more interviews in the span of 24 hours than Kamala Harris does in a week or really mm -hmm. for the first two and a half months of her entire campaign. Oh, Donald Trump is exhausted. Yeah, no S, Sherlock. A young and shaped 25-year-old man would be tired with this kind of a grueling schedule. My advice, stop with the phony narratives, stop with the straight up lying and yep. manipulation, and maybe try to keep up, huh? Let's have a conversation about this. Donald Trump is stealing the spotlight here, and they freaking know it. We got some stuff to get into, so let's, let's go. roll the tape. All right, folks, I really want to focus specifically on the Al Smith dinner. I mean, this performance performance was absolutely legendary. You know, once again, the Kamala campaign attempts to get ahead of it. Trump complains about the audience not laughing at his attempts what? at jokes. They play this clip. I mean, why would Donald Trump complain? What do you mean he's complaining? He's in a room full of Democrats. So a lot of them ain't going to laugh. There's a lot of them in there that don't like him. So I'm telling you, Kamala, her campaign is a fraud. This is what they do. This Donald Trump is not tired at all. This you talking about the, the woman that he for what the first six weeks didn't come out, didn't do interviews, didn't do anything. Donald Trump been working nonstop. He been doing what two rallies in a day. Looked at me and said, "Don't." Does anybody understand that? Yes. Yeah, that was. I thought it was actually very good until just now. It was announced this morning that at a funeral yesterday, in a rare moment of clarity, Joe told Barack Hussein Obama, they quote, <laughs> only a few people got that. <laughs> or as Rush Limbaugh used to say, Barack Hussein Obama, remember, bro? He was a piece of work, we miss him. <laughs> but as he told Barack Hussein Obama, quote, she's not as strong as me. She's not as strong. Do you understand that? And Obama agreed, saying that's true. Other than that, I think the Democrats are getting along quite well. Right? Again, nobody got that one. 
the fact. Yeah, no wonder it's not landing. It's a room full of partisan liberals. Exactly. At least mostly partisan liberals. I mean, what do you expect? But again, Democrat narrative versus reality. They're trying to pretend as if Donald Trump bombed during this performance. But I'd say the exact opposite happened. Let's just put together a little bit of a Trump highlight reel, shall we? I used to think the Democrats were crazy for saying that men have periods. But then... I met Tim Waltz. <laughs> well, I'd better wrap up because Mayor Adams told me earlier that I needed to make this one very quick, especially the city has reserved this room for a large group of illegal aliens coming in from Texas. <laughs> There's a group called White Dudes for Harris. Have you seen this? White Dudes for Harris. Anybody know? Are some of you here? White Dudes for Harris doesn't sound like it. But I'm not worried about them at all because... Their wives and their wives' lovers are all voting for me. <laughs> a major issue in this race is child care, and Kamala has put forward a concept of a plan. A lot of people don't like it. The only piece of advice I would have for her in the event that she wins would be not to let her husband, Doug, anywhere near the nannies. Just keep them away. That's a nasty one. Chuck Schumer is here looking very glum. <laughs> this day looks glum. It looks glum. <laughs> look at Chuck. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. <laughs> <laughs> if Democrats really wanted to have someone not be with us this evening, they would have just sent Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe has almost disappeared from view. The only way he could be seen less is if he had a show on CNN. They had nothing. <laughs> They've got nothing. Fake news, right? Fake. Yeah, I don't know if that fits the... See, that's the thing right there, y'all. See, see, this is what Kamala Harris them do. They always try to take out the parts where, okay, a person, they didn't laugh right here. But then they won't play the rest of what people actually did laugh. It was even liberals that was laughing at the joke. Look at Chuck Schumer. You know we don't like Chuck Schumer. He over there, he's he's laughing at the jokes. So this is where Kamala Harris campaign, that's why I'm saying they are a complete fraud. They take out little bitty pieces and try to use that and say, hey, Donald Trump is mad that didn't nobody laugh. What you mean he's mad? The people mad, why didn't she even show up? Why didn't Kamala even show up? At least Donald Trump showed up. He even said in the video, he said, look, I'm here, even though I know a lot of people in here hates my guts. And it is. You've seen Letitia James up in there. You know, we know how crooked she is. Chuck Schumer. It's a lot of them in there that don't like Donald Trump. And he still showed up. He wasn't scared. He still got up there and said jokes. Of course, not everything ain't going to be funny. Because like I said before, a lot of people don't like Donald Trump. So some things he say, they ain't going to react to. And they know that, but yet they still try to run with that. So, I mean, Donald Trump actually went viral all on Twitter. He he went viral with a lot of the stuff that he said, especially about the Tim Waltz. You see Kamala campaign didn't show that what he said about Tim Waltz. I'm telling you, her campaign is just a fraud. They fake, and this is just what they do. Donald Trump is not exhausted at all. This man is a machine. He's always working. He's always moving. This woman, Kamala, she just did her first interview on Fox. She wouldn't have, if she was winning in the polls, she'd have never came to Fox. Come on now. The definition of bombed, I'd say I experienced it quite differently than exactly. how the Democrats did. But I guess that's par for the course now, isn't it? This is coming from the same people who claim that Kamala Harris absolutely slayed Queen during her pathetic appearance on Fox News with Brett Baer. But that's the narrative that they're going with. Donald Trump absolutely sucked. I can't even believe it. It's so off the mark that even Brian Stelter at CNN doesn't agree. What did you make of this performance? Oh, no, don't ask me first. <laughs> I thought he was funny. I thought he actually got a few great jokes in. I thought the best moment was we talked about the assassination attempts and made light of what he's experienced because I think he's experiencing real trauma, real PTSD as a result of the shootings, but he's still able to have a light moment in, in, in this room. And he took advantage of the fact that Kamala Harris wasn't there. Which is really the subtext that of he this kept, whole thing. Exactly. That, that she they're usually supposed to be in the same room. Trump was funny. And frankly, again, he stole the show. He's exactly. everywhere. He's all over the media. He's doing amazing press events. He's doing a great job and the optics, I'd say, are improving for him. And meanwhile, Kamala Harris is, well, not even showing up to these events. She didn't show up at the Al Smith dinner. Now nope. instead, she's doing sketch comedy and sending in her tape. 
My feelings about what you should say tonight would be best expressed in a monologue from one of my favorite made-for-TV series. Okay. This is so cringe. Don't you see, man? We need a woman to represent us. A woman brings more heart, more compassion. And think how smart she must be to become a top contender in a field dominated by men. It's time for a woman, bro. And with this woman, we can fly. Oh, Mary Catherine, it's very important to always remember you should never let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Haters gonna hate, hate, hate. Shake it off. 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 Good for you, Mary They're Catherine. Ready. Oh, yeah, okay. And okay. also remember one more thing. Don't worry if you make a mistake, because Catholic people are very forgiving. Yeah, and also, one last thing I want to tell you, don't forget to say, Superstar! <laughs> Thank you, Mary Catherine. Thank you, Mamala. Thank you. It's so incredibly... What the world was that? That is, if Donald Trump would have did some stuff like that, CNN would be making fun of it. They were like, what is that? So this woman failed to show up and she sent in something like this. This is what she sent in. Pre-recorded video. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. And then they her campaign want to talk about people didn't laugh at Donald Trump jokes. Yes, they did. What happened was when they played this tape, nobody laughed at it. But she won't show that, though. Beyond cringe. But honestly, the cringe element isn't even really what I want to talk about. What I noticed from this hit and miss, this pathetic attempt at comedy, was simply a continuation of the trend. Here we have Kamala Harris, once again, supposed leader of the Democrat Party, unable to hold the stage herself. She needs to piggyback off another random D-list celebrity. In other words, she's not even the main act. She's a background actor. You know, kind of like she's been her entire career. She's not cut out for this. She's not meant for this role. She's not a natural leader. She's not charismatic, likable, I mean, pretty nope. much none of it. Think of a positive adjective. And she essentially doesn't have it or kind of barely has it, you know, a little bit on the edge. She's just generally unimpressive. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is the main act. He's the main character. You know, yep. some people have main character syndrome where they think they're the main character. And some people are actually the main character. Donald Trump is the main character. Yep. Everybody knows it. I mean, come on, by this point, I think by election day, people are going to forget that Kamala Harris was even running, at least the apolitical normies who aren't really paying attention. I'm sure there's a lot of people who jumped on the Kamala train when it was all the buzz, all the hype, but at this point, some of these people are probably too busy living their lives and they've probably dropped it. Oh yeah, that whole Kamala thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, did you vote? Uh... <laughs> You know, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. It feels like Kamala Harris's popularity is waning. She's fizzling out of the zeitgeist. Fizzling. And meanwhile, Donald Trump, well, he's the commodity. And he keeps yeah. on getting more and more popular. And again, even CNN can admit this. I think there are a lot of folks such as myself who think that Donald Trump's unpopularity is baked in. But here's the deal. If you believe that Donald Trump has somehow become less popular over time, let me change your mind about that. In fact, he is more popular at this point in the campaign than he was at this point in the 2020 campaign or the 2016 campaign. Look, he's still underwater, right, with a negative nine point net favorability rating, but that is higher than he was in 2020 at minus 12 points when he nearly won. And it is way higher than the minus 27 net favorability back in 2016 when he did win. So I think there's this real question in Kamala Harris's mind, in the campaign's mind, why is Trump more popular now than he was at this point in 2020 and 2016? And I think that is why you're seeing the sharpening attacks because they want to put him back down to here yeah. or even there's no way that they're gonna necessarily work. going to back down to here. But they want to make Trump more unpopular than he is right now because he's more popular now than either point in 2020 or 2016. The momentum of Kamala Harris has stalled. And I think they feel mm. like they have to change something that's going on in their campaign because they were seeing a rise and now it has stalled out. Look, she's still more popular than Trump. But look, Joe Biden was more popular than Trump, much more, and barely won. And Hillary Clinton was more popular than Donald Trump and lost. Being more popular than Trump isn't enough. She wants to continue to see her fiber abilities rise. But in fact, they're going in the wrong direction at this point. If it's a popularity. Exactly. So if you look at it now, what they've been doing, CNN, MSNBC, all of them, all they've been doing is just sharpening their attacks, calling him Hitler, saying he's unhinged, he's too old. They just saying everything right now they just letting everything out the closet that's why kamala came out with this i'm gonna give a pot to black people and maybe that'll get them to come vote for me so you think just trying to blast donald trump calling him hitler 
uh, calling them old, calling them unhinged. You think that's going to help you get an office? That's not going to work because people see what you're doing, and now she's just using, trying to get celebrities on stage now to try to help her. This woman getting celebrities. She got Barack Obama. She got Bill Clinton. Now they're saying Michelle Obama coming out next week. They got all of these people trying to help this woman, and it's just Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. <laughs> it's just, it just sad contest, which in a lot of ways the presidential election is, Trump is winning, and it's not even close. And the Kamala campaign knows this, and they're coping, frankly. Ooh, Donald Trump is too exhausted. He's canceling interviews. What, with 60 Minutes and NBC News? <laughs> yeah, no wonder. But meanwhile, he's pretty much everywhere. And he's doing a great job. In fact, this might be the greatest Trump media blitz of all time. Mm -hmm. Specifically because this year, he's not only sticking to the mainstream nonsense. You know, back in 2016, and even largely in 2020, he was only showing up on mainstream networks. He was doing the old school TV gauntlet. Well, this mm -hmm. time I think he's learned his lesson. Why engage with these fake journalists who are all just hand-picked talking heads when you can engage directly with the people through the actual grassroots names? You know, the yep. people who got to their positions because they built their own platforms, yep. podcasts, independent sources, the people who actually sway minds, the people who actually have. Loyal. See, that's the thing with her campaign. She keep They keep talking about that Donald Trump is counseling 60. Why would he go on 60 Minutes? Look what they just did to her. 60 men, they don't like Donald Trump. They literally lied, lied to this man about the Hunter Biden laptop. And then they sit up there and edited Kamala Harris' interview. Why would Donald Trump go there? For they can try to edit out something and make it seem like he said this? It's like these people are crazy. They keep saying that Donald Trump don't want another debate. So why would he debate her to give her another reason just to slander him and say and call him Hitler and he said it was fine people on both sides. Why would he give her another opportunity to say that in front of seven, eight million people who are like a lot of people that's going to watch it when they know it's lies? He offered her the Fox News debate in September 4th. She said no. She turned it down. But now all of a sudden, when she's ready to debate, Donald Trump is just supposed to jump. Man, get out of here with that audiences who are listening and paying attention and of course the environments where you could have an actual conversation without being derailed every two seconds by some fake news journalist mm -hmm. who's clearly got ulterior motives and that ulterior motive is always attempt to destroy the orange man at any and all cost why engage in that kind of nonsense when you can pick and choose and be in all the right places at the right time exactly huh? anyways let the copium continue that's clearly what it is kamala harris is failing and trump well he's just a different kind of animal a mm -hmm. different breed entirely anyways that's pretty much what i got well there we go right there salute to liberal high mind make sure y'all go over subscribe to his channel as y'all can see trying to make fun of donald trump and he went to the al smith down and this woman didn't even show up and son in a cringe video and now she's mad that donald trump was roasting her and there wasn't nothing she can do about it because she failed to show up when she was invited i mean these people are just frauds we have to get president trump back in the white house we need four more years of president trump and after that, we need eight years of J.D. Vance. Let me know, do y'all agree with that? Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.